It's an old expression, not all heroes wear capes. While the majority of us are self-isolating and social distancing during the COVID-19 pandemic, doctors, nurses, scientists, and many more are working hard in hospitals and clinics to treat the sick. They'll tell you they're just doing their jobs, but they're risking their own health to keep everyone safe. In tonight's Eye on Kelloland, Brady Mallory checks in with a nurse and doctor to see how they're doing during the outbreak. Preparing for a pandemic isn't new. Medical teams had to do that for West Nile, Ebola, and H1N1. That same preparation happened now, but the reality of COVID-19 is different. But we've never seen uh, something spread uh, quite like this. It's business as usual at hospitals and clinics in Kelloland. Medical teams are taking care of the usual patients who come in for a variety of reasons, and also individuals who fear they may have symptoms of COVID-19. We all knew there was a chance at some point in our career when we chose um, health care or emergency medicine as our profession that this might someday happen. Here's what medical teams are doing. They're screening patients who come into the emergency department for COVID-19 symptoms. They're also relying heavily on telemedicine. Part of their visit uh, may be done via video camera. That is in an effort to keep uh, as many uh, healthcare uh, people not exposed uh, to a potentially uh, infectious patient. Just to be safe, even we did not go inside the building, and we don't need to. You'll notice we did all of our interviews outside, and we're relying on video from Avera and video we already have to make this story. We're doing this out of an abundance of caution and respect for everyone who's inside the hospital. We are okay with uh, 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 overreaction at this point because we want to be fully prepared uh, for uh, a worst case scenario going forward. Preventing the spread of the virus to other patients and community members is a priority. But think about this. Doctors, nurses, and other medical professionals here are also risking their own health to care for the sick. I think that we do think about our families when we're going home and we take extra precautions, um, extra hand washing, making sure we're changing out of our scrubs or our uniforms before we're walking into our house. Our healthcare staff also feels fear and anxiety, but uh, we have to cope with it and we have to support each other and make sure that we all come through this. While many of us have the luxury of staying home, these individuals are going to work. You know, it's been really amazing to watch our team come together and to deal with the challenges that the pandemic has presented. We uh, chose emergency medicine as doctors and nurses uh, to do this, so uh, this is the time that we uh, step up and take care of the patients that are in need at this at this point. Real life heroes don't wear capes; they wear lab coats, scrubs, uniforms and stethoscopes. We're here on the front lines caring for patients whether we are in a pandemic or not. This was truly a calling for most of us, especially in, Amer in uh, emergency medicine. With Eye on Kelloland, I'm Brady Mann. Oldman says community members and businesses have been showing their support. Some are sending food, coffee, and thank you notes.